The election has gone and passed. Biden is the projected winner. I know I'm going to ruffle some feathers right now. There's been many who have come on YouTube and other social media outlets and they have prophesied that Trump will win. That is a false prophecy. Hey, nieces and nephews, Uncle Jay here. So my purpose is to come before you and to encourage you. And I want us to walk in that dominion, in that power. Hey, nieces and nephews, Uncle Jay here. Jayonline.store, where you find the best in Christian motivation apparel. I'd like to welcome you to my channel, where we help you to walk in victory, power, and live your life on purpose. I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers, all those who are new to this channel, all my old subscribers. I'd like to welcome you back. I'd like to thank you all for coming and spending this time with me. I appreciate you guys. I pray that the Lord's blessing will be upon your life, especially in times that we're dealing with now. God is still good. A young man approached Jesus one time. He said, good master. He called him good master. And Jesus said, why do you call me good? Because no one is good but God. God is good. Even in our darkest time, even when we don't know which way we're going to turn, how we're going to deal with the situations in our life, God is still good. The Bible says he's made his light shine on the just as well as the unjust. He wakes up the just and the unjust. You know, there's no partiality with God. And we thank God for his goodness, for his mercy. The Bible says his mercy renews itself day by day and his mercy endures forever. You know, with this mercy that God gives us, we're able to correct our wrongs and righten the things in our lives. And we just appreciate God for granting us mercy today, that he woke us up another day. And that when the land of the living, the Bible says, as long as you have life, there is hope. So we thank God for being the land of the living today. The election has gone and passed. Biden is the projected winner. I know I'm going to ruffle some feathers right now. There's been many who have come on YouTube and other social media outlets and they have prophesied that Trump will win. That is a false prophecy. The Bible says that how you ask, how can you know if something is not from God? The Bible says, if a prophet speaks a thing and it does not come to pass, you know that the Lord has not commanded it. And the Bible goes on to say that you are not to fear that prophet. Many out here are confused and they're angry. They're even to the point of fighting because they have falsely prophesied something in God's name. They have spoken in God's name. They said God told them that Trump was going to win. Trump did not win. That is a false prophecy. That is not of God. So we are not to fear you. Many times I have made videos and I try to explain to you how you can tell a false prophet from a true prophet. Any man or woman of God is going to speak the words of God. They're going to point you to Jesus Christ. They're not going to point you to themselves. They're not going to point you to their gifting or ability. They're going to point you to Jesus Christ. The Bible says, search the scripture for in them you think you have life. But they are they that testify of me. Any man or woman of God is going to testify of Jesus Christ. They're going to tell you you need Jesus. They're going to tell you how you can get saved. They're going to tell you how you can be born again. Most of these prophets or people 
you barely hear the word of God come from. They don't tell you how you could get saved. They don't tell you that if you're not born again, you're going to die and go to hell. They only tell you things to tickle your ears. You're going to get a blessing. You're going to get money in the mail and all these things. But this is not the purpose why Jesus came into this world. He said, for this purpose, I came into the world to save that which is lost. Prophets only came to direct the people back to God. To correct the wrongs that the people were doing and point them back to God. And any prophet of the New Testament is going to point you to Jesus Christ. It's going to tell you that you are born in sin. You are shaped in iniquity. That the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. That you must be born again as Jesus told Nicodemus. Or you cannot see or you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So this is a big thing that's going on now. You try to bring to light that these prophets have spoken wrong and they want to tear your head off instead of repenting to dig in and say it's still going to come to pass and even if Trump is able to steal the election he still didn't win so that's still a false prophecy so you all those who prophesied that Trump was going to win you just need to repent the Bible says that we're not supposed to fear you the word of God is not in you so stop prophesying I don't know why people are, are all on here trying to prophesy anyways every video that you post it says it's a prophetic word I get leery of that when do you spend time with God to make sure that that word that you are getting from God is from God and that you have not received a lying spirit or a delusion and that's why many have been deceived when it came to this election because a spirit of delusion has fell upon them many Christians have worshipped Donald Trump as a God committed idolatry so God pulled Donald Trump down like he did Nebuchadnezzar the Bible says that God sets up kingdoms and he tears them down but you still have Christians praying against God's will <clears throat> praying against Biden and Kamala Harris talking out she's a witch and they are witches and they are devils but the Bible tells us that we're supposed to pray for those who are over us that we may live peaceably on this earth so if God has chosen Biden to lead the United States you are to pray for him he's our leader we're supposed to pray for his protection pray that God give him wisdom pray that God will open the doors for him that he'll lead us in the way that we should go in a godly manner so all those who prophesied that Trump would win you just need to repent just need to repent we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God there's none righteous no not one we all must repent the Bible says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness God just used this situation this election as a way to expose a lot of people stop speaking and saying that you are speaking for God if you're not a prophet or, or a spokesman for God Elijah cut off the head of false prophets damnation will come upon you for speaking a lie in God's name the Bible says by two immutable things it is impossible for God to lie God's word goes out in righteousness and it doesn't return unto him void but accomplishes that which he sends it out to do 
somebody trying to explain away why it hasn't come to pass and they're trying to say, you know, you don't have to explain what God has said. If God has spoken, it will come to pass, but it hasn't come to pass. The Bible says when God was creating the earth, he said, let there be. And the Bible said there was. It didn't say that eventually came. You had to explain or, or it had to go through some format or, or, or formality. No, it, it was. So if God said that Trump was going to win, he would have won. Trump is not going to win this election. It's over. Let's repent. Let's come in the, back in the fold. Let's seek God where he might may be found. Make sure that you have the Holy Spirit. There is no other Jesus. The Bible says if we come, if an angel from heaven come from heaven and preach any other gospel, let him be accursed. The gospel is the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That Jesus came, that he died for your sins, and he rose on the third day. And if you believe, you will have eternal life. So if you have misspoken, I pray that you receive the Lord Jesus Christ in your life and that you repent and preach the gospel, <laughs> preach the word of God, preach the good news. This is what people need to hear. Not all these tickling ears and everything. People are dying and going to hell. And that's the only thing God is concerned about is souls being saved. I just pray for you all. You know, I don't wish no downfall on anybody. Because it could be me. I pray God's mercy upon you. That he will help you through this dark time. That we grant you mercy. And that he will keep you. Just continue to pray for me. That Jesus Christ will increase and that I may decrease. That he'll be magnified in my life. That he'll draw all men unto him. And always remember, head always up. Get to subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell for notification when I upload videos. I upload videos two, three times a week. Hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload videos. And always remember, 